Don't tell nobody. I got a friend that works at Prime. He's up here in his truck. He just gave me a light kit. I'm going to have to show you guys this light kit. It's freaking awesome. Figured I'd come up here. Say what's up to him. Excuse me. There he is. Oh, he wasn't in that truck. Fucking prime drugs. Fuck you going? You got me walking up to the wrong truck. <laughs> Dude, I walked up to the fucking blue truck. <laughs> <laughs> and you were a different color. <laughs> I was uh, yeah, dude opened up the door and I was like, no, that's not David. <laughs> I didn't even think about it because with me being colorblind, I don't think about the color of a truck. So yeah. I'm like, oh, he's in the blue truck, and then you get you no, it wasn't you. <laughs> no. Yeah. I bet he flipped the fuck out. Oh, here. Say hi Joe. Hi. Hi, Joe. Mm. <laughs> Fucker. But no, he gave me a, a freaking light kit, an LED light kit. I'm going to have to show you guys that. And uh, yeah, and so, but we're going to sit here and wrap for a little bit. And uh, I'll see you guys after a little bit. All right. Now that David's gone, I want to show you the light kit that he gave me for a little golf. Kind of unbelievable. I mean, I didn't know that they had this kind of stuff out there. I know there's a whole lot of new stuff out there, but this thing can wicked. So it's called XK Glow Advanced App Controlled LED Lighting XK Chrome Series. If you guys know anything about these pluses, minuses, you know, whatever might be good or bad about this, just let me know. But there's an app, you can pick any color spectrum, you can change the waves, it can trace and, uh, and, and channel down the side of your vehicle. Let's see, what do we got here? It, it's plug and play, waterproof, uh, low profile, it doesn't even stick up, hardly even a quarter inch. Uh, Multi-zone control, so you can do two different zones to do, do different patterns. Uh, music uh, sync so it'll go with the beat of your vehicle and 16 million colors I'm freaking halfway colorblind I'm not gonna see fucking <laughs> that many colors <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and uh, it was already open because he had played with it he had bought it for his big rig but he's Decided that he's not going to use it for his big rig. So he decided that he wanted to help me out and uh, give it to me. But anyway, here's the uh, the brain of, of the whole thing. And then you've got your power cord with a on-off switch right here. And then you've got all different size wires. And it comes with, uh, I think, six of these. And these are really floppy. So you can put these anywhere. You can put these in your wheel wells. Um, so you've got six of these. I'm thinking four for the wheel wells, two for the grill. Boom. So that takes care of that. And then you got these two footers. And you've got eight of these two footers. There's four in here and then four more that I have here. These are slightly flexible, but not as flexible. So you're not gonna you're gonna be able to put these straight wherever it is lets you take it uh you've got uh all the mounting hardware and uh i think he said there was like a a drill bit yeah there's there's a little drill bit right there so that you can mount everything up and that's about it that's that's the whole kit but it's got enough wiring to go wherever you want on your vehicle super excited about this super excited that i'll be able to put that up in the new shop so yeah wow thank you david that is freaking amazing i can't wait to do that probably not going to be until january possibly february to be able to put that on little goth because we're going to have a whole lot of stuff to do over the next month and a half probably till sometime in uh january is what we're looking at to be able to get everything done uh the course of events that are happening in 
this next week is we're signing our papers. Uh, I'll have to get back with you guys because uh, it's, it's only, what, Sunday. Sunday night right now is when I got to meet up with him. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday night is when this video is going to go up. So let's see what happens by Wednesday, and I'll get back to you guys here in just a minute, actually. Got to have lunch with my wife yesterday. Took her out to one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. Holy shit. I got a green light. That means I'm done getting unloaded. I was about to do some paperwork. Um, just really wanted to finish up this video. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, they've done some more e-signing and some more paperwork that is moving us along. All the closing uh, disclosures are all done. Uh, now what they're doing is they're getting together all of the final paperwork. Uh, for us to be able to sign and this is all gonna happen on uh, Friday So yeah, super excited we Got everything is like fucking falling into place everything is in order and we're just absolutely excited right now I, I, I had to finish this midweek video off with that um, I'll be going back past the house today in case there's anything I got to finish up uh, the building's set to be moved on Monday uh, this weekend we will sign our papers and I believe the sellers are supposed to be out by Thursday tomorrow so if they are on schedule uh, then we will should be able to take our first load over there either Friday afternoon sometime or Saturday early morning we want to be able to go over there me and my wife are gonna clean clean it uh, and and disinfect it for us from one side to the other side of the house and then we'll be ready to start moving our things in which I mean our things aren't clean but they're our things so well I just made our sound really dirty didn't I we are not that dirty <laughs> so anyway yes Saturday morning we'll take the first load that we have right now if not Friday and then uh, be able to come back and get another load and then uh, Sunday do another couple of loads and we should be really close to being done Monday I may end up doing another load first thing early Monday morning uh, I got to figure out when the building mover is gonna be over I got to disconnect the uh, power from the from the mini shop this weekend and so this means that this weekend's video may not be all the way till Monday because Monday when he moves the building I plan on taking the camper and we'll be completely off of the RV lot uh, come Monday. If there's anything left in the uh, storage, me and Kathleen can get that the following weekend because my wife will work the following weekend. She had off, but due to the situation, she can't have that, that next weekend off. So other than that, everything is going smooth. Looking forward to being able to show you guys the house. I think I'm going to do it, like I said, in a two-part video. I keep saying that. We'll do the house first, show you guys the house and everything that's uh, around the property, and then we'll uh, move over to the shop the following weekend so that I can have a couple things maybe set up and be able to, uh, to show you guys the shop and all the amenities that are on that side of the property with the mini shop already in place where it's supposed to go. But anyway, I got a green light. I got to get, get out of here. You guys have a good rest of the weekend. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment at the bottom. Looking forward to uh, seeing you guys this weekend on this weekend's video. So I'll either do it either Sunday night or Monday night. Not exactly sure, but I want to have a full video for you guys for this weekend. So let me quit rambling and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.